Hello, hello, my dear learners. Today we are going to talk about elements of a story. So to start with, let us first define what is a short story. Is it really short? Well, a short story is a fully developed story. But it is shorter than a novel and longer than a fable. It typically takes just a single sitting for reading. Short story focuses on the incidents, bigger or smaller, and evokes strong feelings from its readers. A short story often has a few characters in the plot. We have here Cinderella. Three little pigs. Rapunzel. But today we will focus on the story Cinderella. Let's first have the setting. A setting is where and when the story takes place. And we have types of setting. We have the first, the time setting. The time setting tells us when the story takes place. So in the movie Cinderella, it happened once upon a time. We also have another type of setting which is the place setting. Place setting, it tells us where the story happened. So in the movie Cinderella or story Cinderella, we have two Play settings first, Cinderella's house or chateau, and the castle. Another element of a story is the character or characters. They are the people, and in some stories, the animals that take part in the story. So in the movie Cinderella, we have Cinderella, of course. Prince Charming, the Fairy Godmother, oh, her stepmother, and her stepsisters. We also have here Jack and Gus and Lucifer. We also have types of characters. We have first the protagonist. The protra protagonist or the protagonist usually are called the heroes or hero in a story. So in the story Cinderella, our protagonist is no other than Cinderella. Another type of characters is the antagonist. The antagonists are the villains who are always opposing the protagonist. So in the movie Cinderella or story Cinderella, the antagonists are her stepmom and her evil stepsisters. Now let's have another element of a story which is the plot. A plot is a series of related events or actions that happen in the story. And it is also divided into an, imp an important element of a plot. First, we have the introduction. Okay, as you can see later that in the, in the, in the elements of a plot, it's like we are hiking on a mountain. Next, rising action. Followed by the conflict. On top of it is the climax. Then going down is the resolution. And the end or the ending of the story. Okay, let's first talk about introduction. 
introduction includes a brief description of the setting and the characters as they interact in the beginning of the story. So in the story Cinderella, here is the introduction. Long ago, in a faraway kingdom, there lived a girl named Cinderella. So this is the introduction of the story. As you can see in the introduction, we can already find there the setting of the story. Let's now have the rising action. What is the rising action? It is where the conflict starts building up. So in the book Cinderella or story Cinderella, the rising action here is one day an invitation was sent to all the maidens in the kingdom, but her stepmother would not allow her to go. This is the rising action, the start of the conflict. Cinderella wanted to go, but her stepmom doesn't want her to go. Another element of a plot is a conflict. It is the struggle between two opposing forces. So in the story Cinderella, our conflict is... Cinderella wants to attend a ball at the prince's castle, but her cruel stepmother and stepsisters tried to prevent her from going and meeting the prince. Oh no, that's our conflict! We also have types of conflict. First, we have the social conflict, the physical conflict, and the psychological conflict. In a social conflict, it is the, strug the struggle is between two or more characters. So, it is also known as a conflict of man against man or against society. Okay, this is like in the story of Cinderella. She is having a struggle or conflict with her stepmom and stepsisters. Physical conflict, the struggle is between a character and the forces of nature or society. It's the character against nature so any story that he that a man or a character the protagonist is fighting with or against the nature climax it is the peak or the highest point of interest in the story so again we're going have the climax it is the peak or the highest point of interest in the story it is also the point when the conflict must be resolved in one way or the other so in this story cinderella the climax is when the prince puts the glass slippers on cinderella's foot and it fits Now let's have the resolution. A resolution explains the solution of the conflict. Example of a resolution in the story Cinderella. Cinderella marries the prince and gets away from her evil stepsisters and her evil stepmother. And now let's have the ending. Ending or end follows after the resolution. In the movie or story Cinderella, the ending is they lived happily ever after. Theme. What is a theme? It is the basic idea or the underlying message that the writer wants to share with the reader. It is also defined as the main idea or an underlying meaning of a literary work which may be stated directly or indirectly. So, in the story Cinderella, our theme is God or good triumphs over evil. Again, good triumphs over evil. The end. The online radio learners.